Hi, all my friends. So I've been um, messing around with my new audio equipment. And um, so I um, wanted to kind of show you that, <clears throat> um, how I've got it sort of set up here so that you guys can do it too at home if you wanted to. Um, and I would say that this whole thing uh, was like right around um, 400 maybe, a little less than that really. 350, 400, okay? And so I'm just gonna kind of show you what I have set up here. Um, yeah, so I'll explain it in just a second. So you'll see a um, the GarageBand and Focusrite uh, and um, my AKG mic and screen and my Fishman and headset, okay? So I'm just going to kind of show it to you now. So that's that's the um that's the garage band and here's the the mic and screen and then here's the focus light and then here's the uh Bose headset that I had a long time ago. And then I have um also my Fishman uh, loud Xbox Mini that everything is sort of plugged into. So it's kind of my makeshift uh, little home studio that I've put on. And I just thought I would play some of the song that I've been, you know, messing around with. And, and ho hopefully it's a blessing. And, and you know, you've, you've heard the song a while, for a while now. I'm just kind of playing around with it and playing around with my equipment. Um, okay, so here goes the song Angels in the Sky. Let's see, let me get it started here. that gives you an idea there's that little mistake I've got to edit out and I have to figure out how to do that okay so that's uh, <laughs> that kind of gives you an idea and you can add to GarageBand uh, different uh, 
instruments and things. And well, I don't know how to play drums or other instruments. I just know how to play the guitar and a little bit of piano. Um, and I'm self-taught. So I took one class at Pierce College <laughs> and uh, did pretty well in that class. So, and that was guitar. Um, but I, I knew how to play sort of before. I just didn't know how to read or write. Now I, I do sort of, uh, kind of forgotten a little bit, but I do know how to do that. And um, so, yeah, I just wanted to uh, share that with you. That's what I've been working on today um, and got everything hooked up and, and working somewhat. Still sort of playing around with it, trying to figure out the best way. And I need to get a different mic if I just want to play directly into my Fishman because this is a condenser mic. I have to go through this whole uh, setup, otherwise it won't work. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed and I hope you're having a great day. Um, I would uh, encourage you to take a look at Paul Bagley's video. Um, and he is with Stephen Bendenun right now in Israel. And some really interesting uh, video on what he's experiencing there in Israel and being at the Wailing Wall, being at the Rock of the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Tomb of the, no, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, t uh, Dome of the Rock, sorry. <laughs> I just lost it there for a second. Uh, Dome of the Rock. And... Um, they uh, are allowing people, at least that particular day, an hour, um, but they still, you can still hear people in the background, Arabs, who are, um, you know, speaking in Arabic, and I don't know what they're saying, but they're, uh, you can tell it's not pleasant. So, um, but, you know, take a look, and it's it's very uplifting to see them there, and Stephen talks about where the temple, you know, where they're talking about the temple might be built. Um, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, other things in the news, um, some secret signing going on uh, with Congress and having to do with uh, TSA, tariff trade. Um, like with this signing, people, companies like Monsanto, um, can do whatever they like, and Congress or anyone else can't do anything about it. Not a good thing. So, yeah, um, take a look at that, what's going on with that. Um, other than that, uh, that's, you know, all the news that I have for right now, which is fine. I just, you know, I'm so thankful that California got some rain. Hallelujah. We got rain. Uh, not enough, but it's still at least something. At least I know that God's still in control of things. And I can look up and see, you know, the blue sky and his clouds and not man-made, you know, chemical spraying going on. So that was nice. Um, and, um, yeah, I um, have also been um, thinking a lot about the rapture and just kind of want to remind folks that any day, Anytime the Lord God can send Jesus back down and to um, rapture us. So it could be any hour. And I do believe in the rapture. I do believe in, in pre-tribulation. And I think that you can find a lot of information right now anyway uh, from Perry Stone. If you look up on his YouTube channel, he explains a lot. He's well-versed in, he's a biblical scholar. He studied in Israel. Uh, I believe he's originally from Tennessee, a minister. And I think his father was a minister. Um, and he explains everything pretty pretty clearly uh, and goes into depth uh, and so forth. I know that my buddy Tony from God Rules is going to also be doing his um, research on it and what he can um, uh, try to help people understand because there's a lot of questions about it out there and a lot of stuff on YouTube that isn't really correct, um, at least biblically speaking. And of course, you're all allowed to have your opinions. Everybody, again, is on their own journey and their own search and for answers and, and that sort of thing. And 
Um, no, nobody has all of the answers. Nobody's always, you know, 100% correct unless they're a prophet of God. And, and the only way to really measure that is if they're 100% right all the time, then you know they're of God, okay? 100%, never wrong, never make a mistake. Um, you know, there's been people in the past, people that I used to listen to, like, um, and I still do occasionally, uh, people like Hal Lindsey. I know he's, uh, you know, a man of faith, but sometimes he's, he's been duped and, um, um, uh, you know, Satan will try to get in anywhere and mess you up and make you feel crappy, you know? Um, and so, um, I think that, uh, in these end times, like I said, knowledge is going to increase. People are going to really understand what's going on and be able to share it with more people so that more people can come to God. Um, and I know it's very difficult for people who don't understand God and his relationship to man and why certain things are allowed to happen. That's an age old question of you know, why does he allow atrocities to happen in the world? And again, remember that in a relationship, it takes two. If it didn't, it would be considered a dictatorship. And he does give us free will and free choice. And free will to accept that he is God and a choice to accept his son who died on the cross for us over 2,000 years ago. Um, and he did so that, so that our sins would be forgiven and that we would be covered by his grace, his blood, if you will, um, and not die a second death. Um, now I don't want to go into the rapture or anything like that. Um, I'll, I'll let other people talk about that because they've already done such a great job. I don't want to, um, you know, add to that right now. That's not really my message, I don't think. Um, but the other thing I want to say really quickly is that throughout the Bible, uh, Old Testament, New Testament, eunuchs are talked about. And unfortunately in the church, it's not preached on, the eunuch prophecy. So many people think it's a bunch of, you know, baloney and, and that it doesn't really exist, but it really does. So I would encourage you to take a look at my videos for a start, but I'd really encourage you to look at Brian Bowen Ministries. Um, he does an excellent job at explaining verse by verse why this is uh, so. And I would like to remind you that the ancient eunuch, as in today's eunuch in, say, India and Pakistan and so forth, um, born the way that they are or made that way, um, either by choice or by man, um, uh, either have become celibate or that they maybe have a partner in life or they have decided to marry if they're allowed to, um, uh, are today's LGBTQ community. Uh, and many of the LGBT people don't even like to associate with the word eunuch, um, but that is the ancient term. And remember, they were revered, loved, heads of households, heads of offices. And all throughout the Bible, Daniel, Ruth, uh, King David, um, all of our biblical uh, leaders all knew and had eunuchs. And God used them uh, to help and assist his people. So I believe that God loves us and accepts us as we are, knows that we are stitched from birth, born that way, Matthew 19, 11, 12, take a look, for starters, and please remember to not judge, God is the only one that's allowed to do that, let's hold, uphold each other in love in Christ, okay, love you guys, enjoy the song, bye-bye.